Material Safety Data Sheets (MSDS). Material Safety Data Sheets (MSDS) provides all the critical information on how to use, transport, and store chemicals in order to protect yourself. It also tells you what to do in case of emergencies and overexposure. You can access to MSDS through the internet. Open the internet browser in your computer. Then type www.sigmaaldrich.com. Another website is www.fisherci.com. To find the MSDS for a chemical, you can input the chemical name in the search cell on the top of the page as shown. For example, you can type diethyl ether. Then press the search button. There are several items under diethyl ether. You can select one and press MSDS on the right-hand side of that item. The MSDS for diethyl ether appears. You can select the language of the MSDS you want. You can read the MSDS directly on this web page and use the cursor to scroll down the page. Or you can save the MSDS to your computer and read it anytime you want. To save it, you can put the cursor in the MSDS page as shown. Then press the right button of the mouse. Select Save As to save the PDF file. Select the directory you want to save the file, then give a name of the file and press Save button. Go to the directory. You can open the PDF file for the MSDS of diethyl ether. In general, the MSDS contains 16 sections. Sections 1 to 3 give the information of the product. Sections 4 to 6 provide measures for exposure. Sections 7 to 10 include protection and prevention of hazards. Finally, sections 11 to 16 give other specific information of the product. Now, we start with sections 1 to 3, which are the information of the product. Section 1 is Chemical Product and Company Identification. It has the name of the chemical. From the preparation date of the MSDS, you can know whether this MSDS is the updated one or not. This section also gives the company that prepared the MSDS and its contact details. The emergency phone number is provided in case of emergency. In section 2, it is the hazard identification. It describes the appearance of the chemical. It provides the potential health effects and the symptoms associated with the exposure. Section 3 gives the composition and information on ingredients. This section identifies all the hazardous ingredients of the chemical. It gives the synonyms, the CAS number, as well as the concentration of the chemical. The CAS number is a unique numerical identifier that is assigned by the chemical abstract surface for each chemical. Sections 4 to 6 give information about the measures of exposure. Starting with section 4 is the first aid measures. This section describes the possible first aid procedures for each route of entry, such as inhaled, skin contact, eye contact, swallowed, etc. Section 5 is the firefighting measures. It provides information on the fire and explosive properties of the chemical. It gives the suitable extinguishing item as well as the general firefighting instructions, especially for firefighters. Accidental release measures are given out on section 6. 
The section gives information on how to respond when dealing with chemical spill or leak. It includes the equipment for protection and a way to contain and clean up the spill. Sections 7 to 10 are for the protection and prevention of hazards. Section 7 provides information on the precautions of handling and the conditions for safe storage of the chemical. The exposure controls and personal protection are included in Section 8. This section describes the appropriate engineering controls and the necessary personal protective equipment that can help reduce exposure to the chemical. Section 9 gives the physical and chemical properties of the chemical. It includes the appearance, boiling point, solubility in water, viscosity, etc. The stability and reactivity of the chemical are given on section 10. This section gives information on the potential hazardous chemical properties of the chemical. It also addresses the chemical stability, conditions to avoid, as well as incompatible materials. Sections 11 to 16 give other specific information of the product. Section 11 gives toxicological information. The data are used for the section on hazard identification. The ecological information is on section 12. It provides the environmental impact on the chemical when it is released to the environment. Section 13 is on the disposal considerations. It gives important information on the proper disposal of the chemical. Section 14 is about transport information. It provides the basic shipping information, including the identification number and hazard class. The regulatory information on Section 15 gives information on the regulations under which the chemical falls. Lastly, Section 16 includes other information concerning the chemical such as hazard rating, preparation and revisions of the MSDS.